doing some prep for the week and I thought I might as well just like turn the camera on and you can spend time with me and watch me do all my prep. I really try my hardest on these days to get as much done for the week as possible, especially since I'm in the office a few days a week and when I get home, the last thing I feel like doing is a lot of cooking or a lot of prep work. Here is my hope to my future self that I'm gonna be good. A couple things that I like to make sure of before I start doing a lot of prep work is I have a clean sink, a list, especially when you are doing a lot of prep, I think that a list is your best friend. A drink, and this helps me not snack as much, so I got my 50 ounce water. So now that everything is organized around me, I can get into it. For lunches this week, I'm gonna do some barbecue chicken with some cucumber salad and some string bean salad. Marinate my chicken right now and I'll grill it later. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Got some salts, pepper, some Dijon mustard, and a lot of barbecue sauce. And that's it. Clean hands, get into it. Make sure this is all covered in the marinade. Going in the fridge for a couple of hours until I'm ready to grill it. Done. Cucumber salad. This is not the cucumber salad you've been seeing all over the internet. This is my own cucumber salad, the one that I've been making for years and years and years. This is the one that my dad always likes to make. And just slice it up. The thickness does not matter to me. I don't care if they are uniform or thin or thick. I just slice them up. Save a little room in the fridge. I'm gonna just put these in a Ziploc. Kosher salts, black pepper, some white vinegar. I like these pretty vinegary, so I go heavier on the vinegar, but it's just an oil and vinegar mixture. You can really have this however you like it to taste. And some olive oil. That's it. These can now just hang out in the fridge. Green bean salad. Another one that is from my dad. He always would make green bean salad, but he puts potato in his. I don't like potato, so I just do the string beans. I'm just gonna trim up both ends. Salted water in a pot. I'm going to bring these to a boil just for a few minutes. Get them a little cooked, but I want them still a little bit crunchy. Same idea as the cucumbers. I'm just gonna throw it in a bag to create some more space in the fridge. So these are piping hot right from the water. As soon as you get them out, you're gonna hit them with a lot of garlic. These are just my little frozen pucks that I prepped a while ago. One of the best freezer hacks that I think that I've ever done. I will link that video down below in the description so you can check that thing out. Then it is white vinegar. Again, I like them a lot more vinegary than I do oily. So I put a lot in salt and pepper. And last goes in the oil. Same thing with the cucumbers. My dad always says that because if you put the oil on first, the vinegar doesn't penetrate as well. And I believe that. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's it. Before you do this, make sure your bag is closed. But this is the same as the cucumbers. This will go in the fridge. These get so good the longer they sit. That right there is like a little treat I cannot wait to devour. lunch all set and I eat everything cold even the chicken I think that it tastes amazing still so it's nice and refreshing for my midday pick-me-up going in the fridge now that lunch is out of the way 
I could start on my dinner prep for the week. I have a chicken breast here that I'm going to use a couple times during the week. So I'm gonna separate it out into my little storage containers here. The first one, I want to do some cubes because I want to do a skewer. So we'll go halfsies. And simple as that, cube it up. The other meal, I'm going to do a little bit of like a stir fry. So I'm going to do some thinner slices of chicken, just like that. A way that it could be a little easier if maybe your knife isn't as sharp. Stick this little piece in the freezer for a few minutes so it firms up a little more, makes it easy to cut. This really helps with portion control as well. I'm really trying to not overcook and be less wasteful. So this is a perfect thing for me. Look at that, one chicken breast and I got two meals out of it. Another good thing about putting them in these kinds of containers is that when I'm ready, I can just use these to also marinate them so I don't have to use any further bags or dishes. So these can just go in the fridge. Onions. This week I plan on making a little bit of like an animal style tater tot concoction. So I'm gonna need some diced onions so that I can caramelize them. For my chicken stir fry, I think I'm gonna want some sliced onions. And for my chicken skewers, I think I want to do a little bit of a larger slice on an onion so that I can pop those like in between the chickens. I really like a sweet onion. Right now I'm noticing there are a lot of Vidalias out there. Must be in season. Animal style onions. I'm gonna make smaller dices. So first, oh no, get right back in. Mm. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> For a small dice, I'll cut horizontal, uh, you know, cuts like that. Then I go vertical. This is where you can make your size. So I'm gonna make them small. Oh, try not to cry because I already am. And then to make the dice, you just go right down. Look at your little dices. I'm just gonna saute these up right now so I don't have to even deal with it when I want to make this dinner. Some olive oil, pepper, some salt, and some butter. I'm not going to fully caramelize these so this won't take too long, but I do like to get them like little color, more of like a crispy, so it's gonna be at a higher heat and it'll take a lot less time. These are perfect. Now for the rest of the onion, for my stir fry, I want some slices. So I'm gonna go half moon on these. And then my chicken skewers, I'm gonna do like a larger dice. So I'm just gonna actually cut this in half and half again. And you've got the larger pieces. Grilled onions, onion chunks for my skewers and slices for my stir fry. Goes in the fridge. All right, now we're on the home stretch. Animal sauce, little bowl, mayonnaise. There are, I feel like a bunch of ways you can make this sauce. I see the recipes all the time, but this is just how I make it. This is kind of something that I just came up with that tastes good to me. Ketchup. I like to do like a, a two to one ratio. Mayo to ketchup. A tiny hit of yellow mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, just a few drops. Kosher salt, pepper, and let's see. An onion powder and some garlic powder. Sometimes if I'm feeling a chunkier sauce, I will chop some pickles up and put them in here, but I think I'm gonna just keep it smooth for today. A little bit of some white vinegar to thin it out and to give it some tang. You can also use pickle juice and that's it. This is something that I never use measurements with. I always kind of go with how I'm feeling. So I definitely adjust this a lot as I go. So fun fact, when I make my fried pickles, this is also the batter that I use and I put an egg in here. So then I plop the pickles in here and fry them up after I've breaded them. It also makes a really good dipping sauce. I love this sauce. I use it on everything. Also very delicious on breakfast sandwiches in the fridge. Last up, my fruit. I always like to have some sort of rotating fruit salad in my fridge. I am obsessed with fruit, so I usually go with whatever looks good. Today I have got a nice juicy, delicious looking pineapple and a million pounds of strawberries. This is one of my favorite combinations because like strawberries I think are probably my favorite fruit of all time. 
I really should get one of those like pineapple slicers that you just cut the top off I think and you like just go down right in the middle of it and it peels it, chops it at the same time. Until then, this is how I do it. Top and bottom off. Then I take the sides down the middle, have them again. Then to get the core out, I take one of the fourths and I kind of just do a diagonal. There you go. I also really like using a serrated knife for when I cut pineapple. I don't know why, but I just feel like it does a better job. And I just cut each fourth into like three or four, depending on how big it is. And I just make little cubes. Pineapple. Boop. Strawberries. Cut the top off. And I usually like to cut them in fourths. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but what are you gonna do? Oh no, too much fruit. What a crime. I like to have a big bowl of this mixture every morning at work. It's like my treat for making it in. I didn't use all of the strawberries, but I used a good amount of them. So I'm gonna try to carefully <laughs> mix this. This will probably last me a few days. I could eat this whole thing right now if I wanted to, but I'm going to restrain myself. Into the fridge it goes. And that's all I've got. I feel like I am so accomplished right now. I'm gonna look at my list and see what I did. I prepped lunch for the week, so my barbecue chicken, my string bean salad, and my cucumber salad. I prepped components of a few dinners that I'm having this week. Prep is the key. So I got my chicken ready for when I do my skewers and my stir fry. Got my onions done for when I do my animal style tater tots, as well as my stir fry and my skewers. I made my animal sauce for my tots and I made a huge fruit salad. I also did some prep for dinner tonight. I'm having some steak strips, so I marinated those. And I made some broccoli with garlic and lemon juice. I did so much. Maybe I'll do like a what I eat for dinner video after this one as kind of like a continuation to see how my prepped ingredients have helped me throughout the week. Maybe I'll do that. But yeah, I'm all done. I'm gonna go and put my feet up, read a book, and have a good cry because tomorrow's Monday. What are some things that you like to prep, either for the freezer or for your weekly kind of meal prep or for lunches, dinners? What do you like to prep? I'm always looking for ideas. I hope you got some ideas from this one and I will see you in the next video. Bye.